Hello and welcome to a quick overview of the new Actarius applications. The Actarius applications are best practice templates that enable you to add specific enterprise performance management functionality with a click. As opposed to specialized web applications, the Actarius applications utilize standard Microsoft components. Like Microsoft Flow, a very powerful environment to set up workflows that can incorporate nearly any relevant office productivity element like emails and so on. The other solution is Power Apps. With these tools, the business users can tailor the applications exactly to their needs and typically even without any coding. So let's have a look at how, how all this looks in detail. So here we have a typical Actaris planning report where the users can now enter the numbers. They have these selective drill down options. They have all the data entry options on the total level, relative changes. Um, we cover this in detail in all the other videos. But what we have added here as well is now the new Actaris application for workflow management. So I can see here now the options that I have for this plan and we can see this plan is at the moment in the approved status. So this will be part of the approved plan. But if we switch here, for example, to a different one, another one, let's see if we can have something where we can have a bit of a different situation. Yes, and this is a good one. So here we see now France. So France, we can see the budget for 2017. At the moment, the status is not entered. Um, as a user here, I have already entered some budget numbers here for France. And I'm happy with this budget. So let's submit this budget. And what happens now is that um, the, the, the planning admin or the superior or the manager of the France subsidiary will get an email that this plan has been submitted. And in my case, I'm an admin user, so I get the option here to immediately approve and reject this. So it went from the initial sub submitted status when the user submitted it to the approval status. And if I'm happy with this, I can approve it, then it, the workflow will trigger an email to the user that um, this particular plan was approved and it will be part of the overall plan. We have options now to control this. So here we can see now the workflow status report where as a user, I can now exactly see where are we in the process. So I can see for the budget approved, we have these two entities. Let's refresh this. And we see now after we did the, the change for France, we can see now the France budget is approved as well. So this was a quick example of um, workflows. Another one that is typically um, very important in the planning process is CapEx planning. And here we're using the new Actaris CapEx app which allows you to very easily manage your, your CapEx. So here we can see already we have existing assets there. If we want to add a new one, we can just click a button here, type in the asset code, um, some type, uh, a name for this, a purchase date, a purchase value, um, a salvage value, and the useful life. And this will now automatically be added to our as a capex item to our list of, of capex item calculating automatically depreciations again i can immediately see what's the total of our new investments the, the new total value and how does this affect our income so a great way to do capex planning and then the final thing that i would like to demonstrate in this video is hr planning obviously a very important topic and we have quite substantial expertise in this area where we've implemented these wide variety of HR um, applications and planning systems for, for large organizations with a variety of different requirements. And all this knowledge from these implementations went into the Actaris HR module. So the, H, the Actaris H, HR module um, gives you now the opportunity to very effectively manage your HR resources. So for example, here we see now all the employees that um, we have at the moment working in our organization. And I can now filter, um, for example, 
um, by name and get for example here for Mary the details so I can click on this and I could now immediately say okay Mary will get a, a rise next year and put this into the system. So this is one way of doing things and again as, as usual uh, with a change the users in real time always get the information what is the related results of this change. So another um, thing is to add new employees. So let's say for example we have the requirement to add sales reps and these sales reps have a, a base rate of $40 we will hire them on the 1st of May. They will work full time, 40 hours a week, and we want to hire five of them. We don't know yet the name, but still Actaris allows you, or the, the HR app allows you to create um, a number of new roles without knowing the specifics. So if you just press um, enter, then these employees have been added to the system. So this concludes a quick demonstration of the Actaris applications. Many more additional applications are in the making and we would also like to invite partners to work together with us developing application and incorporating their expertise in applications for our global marketplace. So please feel free to contact us for any questions on these channels.